Hey learners, let's learn about the last decisional statement and that is ELIF statement. Well, it's actually connected with IF and ELSE statement, so don't miss out. The ELIF statement is usually placed between an IF statement and ELSE statement. You can use multiple ELIF statements. The situation is somewhat similar to the IF statement. The ELIF statement will be executed if the provided condition in the previous if statement turns to be false, then elif block will be considered. So let's demonstrate it through the help of an example. So first I want to prompt the user, do you want to start the game? Press Y or N. Suppose the user inputs Y, so X equals to Y and now we're going to work with decisional statements including the elif statement so if if x equals to y then print out the game just started elif x equals to n then print out you did not wish to begin the game else you chose an invalid option so you see in this case the if block will be executed because the condition for if statement turns to be true now if I want the elif block to be executed, so what can I do? Well, I can just simply modify the value for x variable. So if x equals to n, then elif block will be considered. So if the condition for if statement and elif statement turns to be false, then definitely else block will be executed. Right? So that's how elif statement may work. So now let's modify this example and place another elif statement. And before I do that, I can just simply add another option for the user that is pause. So do you want to start the game press Y, N or P? And I'll just simply insert another elif statement elif x equals to P then print out you paused the game. So that's it. That block will be executed for which the condition is true. If none of those are true, then simply else block will be executed and the above decision statements will be skipped. That's all. Thank you for watching.